Welcome to a new video by the Sea and Coast. In today's video, we're going to talk about launching of ships into the water. So have you ever thought how are ships made? Even if you haven't, do you think they've been made on the waters itself? No, right? They're made in huge dedicated workshops on land, after which they need to be brought into water. And this calls for the need of various methods of launching ships into the water. Today, we're going to look at these methods and their corresponding advantages and disadvantages. With that, we first come to the gravitational type of launching, which obviously is aided by the action of gravity on the ships. It basically involves rolling of ships over an inclined platform or frames into the water. The gravitational type of launching again has three types of launching under it. When the ship rolls longitudinally over the slideway with the help of a lubricative oil to reduce friction, it is called the longitudinal oiled slideway launching. Its advantages are that it implements a simple equipment and can be used for a wide range of vessels. However, its disadvantages are that the oil used can pollute the water and that a huge pressure acts on the front part of the ship during this method. When the ship rolls longitudinally with the help of rolling steel balls instead of a lubricative oil for reducing friction, it's called the longitudinal steel roller slideway launching. The only difference in this method is that there is no oil to pollute the water. However, the initial installation charges are quite high. And finally, when the ship is launched sideways over the frame, it is called the side oiled slideway launching. The second type of launching method is the floating out type launching. The method with which a very popular term is associated, yeah right, dry docking. When ships are very large, you might feel fascinated by the big splash it would create on rolling in the slideway methods. However, that's a very messy and unstable process. So nowadays, when it comes to big ships, after the construction or maintenance in the dry docks, the docks are filled with water until the ship is able to float out. Its advantages are that it is a very safe and stable method widely used nowadays by many shipbuilders. Its disadvantages are the installation charges are high. The third type of launching is the mechanical type launching. This type of launching requires a large investment and maintenance of the mechanical tools and features of launching. And it also comes with the disadvantage of less control on the ship while launching. So it is basically used for smaller vessels. And with that, we come to the last method of launching, which is a very innovative and versatile method for launching ships of any size into the water. The airbag launching method, which essentially consists of air-filled reinforced rubber tubes with hemispherical ends and high load capacity. Many such tubes are placed one after another in a proper sequence on a slanted ramp and they guide the ship by the virtue of gravity into the water. And since they are air-filled, retrieving them from the surface of the water after the launch isn't a big deal either. Its advantages are that it is a very time and money efficient method and can be applied on a wide range of ships. However, this method is not as simple as it seems because it needs a neat prepared ramp for launching and proper water level which otherwise can pose a danger to the ship or cause fracture or bursting of the airbags. So by now we know the various methods of launching ships along with the pros and cons and on what terms they are better than each other. And with that, we come to the end of this video. See you in the next one.